Hello and welcome back to Retro Gaming Rewind. Today we're going to be playing Adventures of Lolo by HAL Labs. Fun little game by a company that no one had ever heard of, but I'm sure you know them because they made Kirby. And you'll see uh, in this game, uh, we've got Lolo and he's reaching out for Lala, the pink little ball getting stolen by this creature. He's an evil devil monster, I think. I don't know how you would know that unless you read the manual. And we are going to play Adventures of Lolo, as you can see right there. HAL Labs made this in 1988. Um, Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Dreamland are probably some of my favorite games that I played growing up. This is a puzzle game. It's absolutely nothing like Kirby or Mario or any of the kind of games that everybody knows. Uh, your mission, save the captured Princess Lala from the Great Devil's Evil Empire. And uh, I often talk a lot about game design and good game design and how you should kind of have a warm, cushy opening level that, you know, you can wander around and nothing's going to hurt you and it gives you an opportunity to mash buttons and see what happens and I walk over the chest and nothing happens. I walk into what uh, we find out is an enemy and he's just looking at you and he looks so cute. So I pick up this heart and uh, I now have two of something. I don't know how to use it yet, but I can click that and I've got like a little gumball thing that I can make and I can go up and get the second heart. And notice that, you know what, the gumball doesn't last forever. The creature appears, and the second I collect whatever is in this chest, which also looks like a small gumball, defeats all my enemies. And uh, in our second level here, we've got two creatures that are currently asleep. We now can figure out how to move blocks around, which is going to be a useful tool for us a little bit later in levels. And it just goes back to what I'm saying about good game design. Um, now these guys are awake, and I know if I walk in front of them, I'm going to die just like that. But now you know it. So when you get a chance to play Adventures of Lolo, you will fare far better than me. I don't really have to push this block in front of the guy, but it is fun. So I believe I can knock this guy out with my little magic gumball power. And if you click it a second time, you push him away. And if you didn't know that yet, the next level makes you learn it. All right, so I've got two balls here. I can push them out of, out of the way. Now this weird green gopher thingy guy walking around, he's annoying. Really freaking annoying. Um, he falls asleep and just kind of stays where he is. Um, so, um, you know, you just have to touch him in a specific area. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. You have to touch him, uh, let him uh, reach you when you're in an area that's not going to mess you up if he freezes. Because otherwise, you have to let Lolo die. Uh, in this particular game, ooh, I don't remember these guys. Kind of look like skulls. Let's see what happens. And they're not moving yet. Hmm. And that's where we get into the uh whoop, push them out of the way. Oh shit, they're moving now. Alright, so um, I see these green blocks here. I think I can move them and block them in. So we will try that. If that doesn't work, we just have to move super fast. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes it worked. Perfect. Um, these are new creatures. Um, they don't move until we start moving. Um, okay. Uh, 
Gotta avoid these guys. Perfect. Yeah, I got a staircase. So I think we completed our first tower. On to tower two, floor two. Congratulations, you've just cleared floor one. This is not the end of the battle. I don't know what to do with this guy. Oh crap, okay. Okay, so I guess he doesn't just blindly chase me. Interesting. I don't know how he decides where to go. These guys I remember, they shoot at you, so if I walk in front, front of them like that, I die. But what I think I can do is push these up here. Haha, <laughs> can't hit me now. Ooh, yeah. I'm just gonna stay clear of them for these last two hearts. And I'm done. This guy I don't remember. Either. Oh, we can block him in. I guess he just bounces left and right. That's cool. You do you, bro. Push him in, lock him in. Yeah. I'll definitely say the Adventures of Lolo music is not as memorable as some of the other games. It is kind of addictive. I think it would drive me nuts if I was playing this as a kid for 10 hours straight. Okay, so we've got a heart here, and that's kind of a cool feature is of, of this game is with a puzzle game like this, you can look at the map at the beginning of the level and try to figure out what you want to do. Um, so we're going to figure out how to get to that heart in the center, but we're going to just start moving around. Fortunately, we've got a relatively easy set of enemies to deal with here. Just got Mr. Blockman that walks around. Tries to box you in. Okay. We got a hammer. I think I can... Yeah. Haha, <laughs> we did it. So once I guess you get enough hearts, you get the hammer, and then um, once you get all the hearts in this particular level, you get the other piece. Um, oh shit. Um, I think the second I collect the rest of this final heart, the skull guys are gonna go live on me. I don't know precisely how to proceed. Nope. Okay. That means I can walk through here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, shit. What the f... I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Um, we're gonna try this out one more time. the tough ones in. Hmm. Okay, that's doable. Yeah, we did it. One life remaining. We made it to floor three. This is not I repeat, not the end of the battle. We're coming to rescue you, Lala. 
Oof. All right, we've got the guys that shoot arrows at us. We've got two of the skull guys. <laughs> Apparently the arrow guys can shoot through bushes. All right, we're gonna try that one more time. BQBG is your uh, starting point. So we reached floor three. Not the end of the battle. And um, yeah, this is a tough level. We're gonna try to figure this out. So if I push this guy here, push that up there. He's locked in. And I guess I'm gonna try to push this here. this. I'm going to push this one here. So that locks in him. You know what? I think I need another one of these blocks on the other side. So I'm going to push this down. All right. Let's try this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it. The trick here now is blocking these dudes so they can't come across that bridge once I have the final heart. <sighs> I just realized what is going to happen. Yep. That's what I need the last one for. But now we know. We did it together. One team, one dream. Alright, so we're gonna push this. No, I don't need that up there. And push this guy back down on the other side. We're gonna put this above the tree monster. I don't know why I'm calling them tree monsters. They're not a tree monster. They're just shooting through the trees. Boom. All right, so we're protected for the treasure chest. Did we do it? Did we do it? I think we did it, guys. Power of teamwork. Boom. We just got a boogie. Got it. Holy crap. All right, so this guy clearly, okay. This guy's gonna run around and wreak havoc. I don't know how to avoid those things, guys. That should be apparently the last heart that we get. What the fuck? Maybe I can freeze that guy with the ball. Yeah, got rid of him. Um. <laughs> he fucking respawns. Not fair. BRBD, got your new password? Well, we got to floor three. Password is BRBD, so if you want to play Adventures of Lola yourself, go right ahead. Uh, it is a fun game. There's also Adventures of Lolo 2 and Adventures of Lolo 3, although Adventures of Lolo 3 is a little bit harder of a cartridge to find. The first two are pretty common, easy to find. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any specific games that you'd like to see me play, put it in the comments.